Welcome to It's Casual, the casual talk show where you can call in and talk to the guests. And we've got a lot of interesting things coming up on the show this evening. We have a call already on the line waiting for us. We're going to go to that call right now, and then I'll tell you a little bit about our guest. Hello, you've got the show. Okay, I guess we didn't have a call on the line waiting for us. It was just my imagination. But anyway, we will get calls. Look at this. we got a call already. Hello, you've got the show. Hey, can you do my psychic reading, man? Can I do your psychic reading? Yeah. I'm sorry, you got the wrong show. This is my love life. I love about my love life. This is your love life? My guess would be uh, that your love life isn't doing too well right now. Yeah, I'm a 16 year old, too. <laughs> okay, well, we'll talk about that some other time. You're out of here. This is It's Casual. We're on every Monday night, 7 o'clock to 7.30. You can also catch us on Wednesday night. We rerun the show on Wednesday night, 10.30 to 11 o'clock, and Saturday afternoon from 12 to 12.30. And we have got some interesting stuff coming up on the show. we got phone callers calling in already. we got viewer mail coming up in the very end. i got a list of things I want to read to you, of things you shouldn't do in the Tampa Bay area. Let's take that call. Hello, you've got the show. <laughs> You're out of here. And the Cookie Monster called us from the uh, <laughs> the Sesame Street show. That's always nice when we get celebrity calls in like that. Okay, uh, we got some viewer mail that I want to read here, and then we're going to get to our guest in just a little while. Our guest is uh, Bill Conway, who is the man who does nothing at all. He has no redeeming uh, social value whatsoever. He has no qualities whatsoever. Uh, and he lives here in Tampa Bay, and we've got him on the show. This man absolutely does nothing, nothing at all. And uh, we're going to take another phone call. Hello, you've got the show. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Warning, warning. This is the second time we've gotten a call from the robot in Lost in Space. We're glad you called in. Anyway, uh, viewer mail. We're going to do some viewer mail now. Um, if you want to write in a viewer mail, we're going to put a credit up at the end of this segment here, the viewer mail, where you can write in to, to the show. We've had a couple people already write in. Uh, this one says, Rory, what exactly are you trying to prove with this stupid show of yours? Ooh, we got a, we got a little nasty letter here, a little nasty one. I would hate to, to see, wait a minute, I would hate to ever see you out in the real world trying to survive since everyone you meet can't seem to find your neck. Well, I know you won't read this on the air since it's obvious you have no guts. Your humor is pitiful and your show stinks. Get a real job. Blow me, Luigi. Nice, sweet letter, and uh, Luigi... Get out of here. Okay. Uh, this one is from the Carrollwood area. It says, Dear Roy, you've hosted about a zillion shows on Jones Intercable, and in all of them you had a desk. So why is it that uh, on your new show you don't have a desk? Is this clipboard part of your new image? What's the deal? Well, you know, here at Jones Intercable, we never, oh, that was by, from Pete L. Uh, you know, Pete, here at Jones Intercable, we really know, we don't know who's going to get allotted what furniture. So if you want to see me get a desk, uh, put that credit up right to Get the Worcester a Desk at 1001 North B Street, Tampa, Florida, 33606. Write in, let them know that you, let them know that you're interested in the Worcester getting a desk, okay? And we're going to move on to the next viewer mail. Dear Worcester. I remember when you used to be on Leisure Time and the Miracle TV show. <laughs> and uh, those are times I would like to forget, thank you. And uh, <laughs> I remember you used to do the twist. That was so funny, Roarster. Could you do the twist for me and my friends just one more time? Okay, and this is signed Linda H., okay? Linda, just for you, the Roarster is going to do the twist. Are you ready, cameraman? Just for you, because you asked for it here on It's Casual. We're going to take a phone call. Hello, you got the show. Okay, if you're going to call in, stay on the line. Okay, dear War Monster, whatever the hell you call yourself, when are you going to get Joe Redner from Mons Venus back on the show? I want to see gyrating hips and huge gazongas. Signed, Jeff H. Well, Jeff, I, I don't think Mr. Redner would appreciate uh, this particular description of his physique, but uh, we'll see what we can do about getting him back on the show. And that's out of here. So please do call us in live here at uh, the center. Hello, you've got it's casual. Hi, how are you? Doing fine. Who is this? My name's Hank. Hank. <laughs> so are you from Texas, Hank? No, I'm not. I'm from New York. You're from New York. With a name like Hank, did you uh, like get lots of dates in New York? No, I was a troubled child. 
You were a troubled child. Okay, well, we're going to be speaking to another troubled child in just a few moments. I want to ask you, what, what have it happened at Richie's? Did you have an accident? Uh, well, this is a new show, and it's a different time slot, and uh, Richie's oh. not going to be on it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. He seemed like a very negative influence. <laughs> well, uh, you know, that's your opinion. Some people like the show. Some people do. A lot of people called me up to ask me where he went to. and uh, It was a jump. Yeah, well, honestly, uh, he's still involved in public access, but I don't know when he's going to be doing another show. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, thanks for calling in. And you're out of here. Okay, and please do call in. Let us uh, know that you're out there. Let us know what you want to see on the show in the near future. And uh, call in and talk to our guest. Hello, you've got the show. My mama's a butthole. My mama's a butthole. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time you can articulate and uh, maybe your mama be coming down to the show, huh? So anyway, uh, we've got a list here of 10 things that you should not do in the Bay Area, and I would like to read this to you. Uh, we're going to go from 10 to 1 uh, in severity here, just like they do on other shows. And um, these are 10 things you should not do in the Bay Area. Uh, number 10, invite the Tampa Bay Pit Bull Society over for coffee and donuts. Number 9, go to local bars without huge wads of cash. I guess we all uh, kind of identify with that one. Number eight, go to a seafood restaurant and order steak. Ooh, they really hate that in this area, don't they? Number seven, don't try to define the word ebor to someone who's wearing a greasy cap. Okay, might have to think about that one for a second. Number six, don't put a Nazi show on your cable network. Ooh, well, we're going to take a call on that one, and then we'll finish the list. All right, you've got the show. Hello, you got the show. If you don't speak up, you're out of here. You're out of here. Number five, don't invite the Tampa Bay Police Bomb Squad over for coffee and donuts. Ouch. Number four, go to, don't go to a seafood restaurant with a view of oncoming cruise ships. Might have to think about that one for a little while, too. Number three, ask show hosts on Jones Center Cable where their neck is. Don't do that. Okay, and number two, this is number two here. Go to Bush Gardens with huge, without huge wads of cash. Now, you don't want to do that. And number one, the number one thing that you shouldn't do in the Tampa Bay area, don't invite the construction workers working on Dale Mabry over for coffee and donuts. Okay. And that might be a little segment that we might be doing on the show in the near future. Nice credit. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, like other show hosts, don't do other things from other shows around here. No. Not at all. Okay, we're going to take a phone call. You're out of here. Stay on that line if you call in. We want to talk to you. Uh, if, even if it's just you want to know who messed up my hair. Um, <laughs> call us in. Let us know what you want to see. Hello, you got the show. Let's see how long this is. You're out of here. 